Manji. Manji, like Tang, you know, Tangy, but it's Manji. Uh, the most worst show on the internet. Uh, the most worst. I think you better go back to fucking um, high school. Welcome, folks, to Manji, the most worst show on the internet. And for the 300th time, I am your host, Joey Earp. And joining me for the celebratory event tonight, we have none other than the co-host that I have literally been trying to replace for 300 episodes. The awful, awful, awful Alan with two N's. Mom, I'm going live. What? 300 episodes. We made it. Sorry, I missed that intro, but I'm stoked to be here. We did it. I love the hats. Congratulatory. Ah, the state of YouTube in 2004 consists of high production and even higher budgets, overacting, big and giant sets. I say we go back to how it used to be. Go back to just one person in front of a camera talking into the empty, empty void, the mundane, the mangy, barely any views and even less subscribers. Back when it was a form of sociopathic self-expression and not entertainment. I longed for those days to come back. Well, I found out you don't have to wait any longer, folks. As long as I choose to search deep enough, I can find the most worst mangiest of the mangy. Tonight, we will be seeing an all-star cast of Cretans all by themselves in front of their camera being mangy as all get out. What do you say we get into it? Let's fucking go. So I want to start off before we get into that. I received, well, first off, I was I was on somebody's podcast and I also received a congratulatory from our buddy Full Blown Aids. Oh, nice. And it seems like he has a little typo here and it says congrats to Mangy oh, on 300 AIDS. episodes. But anyways, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's let's look at this real quick. Man, I'm so excited. I just want to wish my friends at Mangy. A happy 300th episode anniversary. I'm so thankful I've been able to be part of so many episodes on Mangy. The way you guys ask the tough questions that nobody wants to talk about and how you dig into topics that are real and relevant is, is. definitely something this industry needs. So thank you for 300 amazing episodes and uh, thank you for being a great crew of people. No matter where you're what at. Is this? What, he's got, is he trying to shill his business at the end of the congratulations? Should we run uh, through it? Today in your business or your life, you're just one conversation away. Full blown. Like, as, as much as I appreciate that, he is a loser. He only has one subscriber. I mean, well, yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, if, if you're a fan of Mangy, we're a fan of you because we're very odd people. We like the worst shit. Give us nothing. Mundane. We want nothing. Just Mangy, Mangy, Mangy. So I was actually. I, I think this guy messed up. We we asked. Uh, I I was personally looking for people that knew about the show, wanted to be on it to give us a congratulations. This guy, I, I think he asked me to be on his 300th episode. I don't even think he got it. So I don't I, recognize this guy. Yeah, this is just like a, a one minute clip. So we can just we'll just see with this. I'm better for having this conversation, and I have to let you in on a little secret. You're part of a milestone for the show today. Uh, our conversation is the 300th podcast for the Endeavor. So I want to thank you for your uh, time, energy, and insights and helping me uh, celebrate a milestone for the show. It's most appreciated. Appreciate it, man. You know, it's... Sorry, I'm just, like, doing a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, no, you know, it's 300th episode. That's crazy. That's, we're almost on our 300th episode, too. That's nuts. You know what they say? Slow and steady wins the race, right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, guy, but I'm, like, same. really busy. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, well, uh, uh, slow and steady wins the race. Right? No, I know. That's what I was just telling you. Uh, listen, though, like, we're doing 300 episodes, too, so um, I got to go. Thanks for having me on, though. I hope to 300 more. Thanks for the time and for uh, the insights. It's most appreciated. Yeah, so why that did, was that why was didn't fun. you invite me on? I uh, want to go on that guy's show. I told you I've been trying to replace you for for two hundred and ninety nine episodes. So he was a possible replacement for me. He, uh, yeah, it was more or less a tryout. I was so okay. So that wasn't supposed awesome. to come out. I've been trying out people to replace you for almost three hundred episodes. 
But, okay, so now we're going to get into the crux. Every video, folks, that I am bringing tonight is one person in front of their camera by themselves. That's it. That's what you're getting. Mundane and mangy. So, they're all new people, except for, I think, the first four videos. So you're going to recognize these channels, the first four videos. But after that, it is just straight into the void. So, let's get into it with our buddy, Stallmaster. Now, this is a reenactment. This is... Stallmaster, Stallmaster doing a reenactment of the show 24. Do you remember with Jack Bauer? Yes, okay. 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 So good. let's let's just get into it. I thought you wanted to get your life back together. Make things right for your family. You think this is helping? He's got information that I need. What information? <sighs> that infamous Never basement. You can't tell me. Fine. But Jack, I remember that part of 24 when he's in the basement. You could end up in jail. Probably. And where he's talking to the frog. Then what are you doing? Probably. Look at his face. Jack. Are you sure this is a Stallmaster video <laughs> and not like the scene from 24? <laughs> I recognize those boobs. I was going to say, why are the boobs bigger on the guy? Except it makes it easy He's, to isn't that another? There's a female character. That's all You've never seen 24. That's the best part about it. <laughs> you know those guys. I've, been... I've also realized that when it's just a person with one camera, one minute literally feels like 15. This Especially wasn't... when they're playing multiple characters. <laughs> this hasn't even been a minute yet. The whistle on. You think they were the bad guys? Because they weren't. They weren't bad guys. They were just like you and me. Except they compromised once. <laughs> okay. All right. You're going to recognize um, this next guy. This next guy is one of my all-time favorite YouTubers of all time. His channel is Chris's Corner. Yeah. That's where the K. Now, have you ever heard the song? Um, it's a famous song. You might have heard of it. It's called Rip It by Diva. Okay. Nope. As uh, the diva would say it, just rip it good. Oh my, oh my, oh my son! Oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that was the whole video? <laughs> that was the whole... As diva would say it. God damn it, Chris. I love you so Dude, much. Calling Devo diva is amazing. Okay, <laughs> so now for the third um, channel that you're going to be familiar with. It's our boy Wrestling Otaku. He's back. So this is his 2023 victory celebration um, video. This is recap of, 20, of uh, 2023. But we're going to watch. He He's going to do a commemorative dance. For when it comes to this. And just considering victories that I've obtained this year, 2023, well, that calls for a celebration. At least in my book. Yes, it does. But, uh, but yeah, so let's get into this little celebration. I think fit very uh he's so long-winded oh and God, for those so of you who, but, uh, it takes anyway, so long to actually, get into give anything. me one second give me one second <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yep. still can't even get it right w-o's 2023 victory celebration here we, here go. we go here we go That's the amount of energy. Is that the most energy he's going to put into this? He also loves uh, Lolly. Don't search it. <laughs> I'm aware. Is this a, is this another diva song? <laughs> yeah, this song's... Oh, this, this is literally... Rip It Good. He acts like he knows Japanese. If I just cover my eyes, will it go away? Is he skanking? It's kind of a skank. I think it's like an anime skank. A skank, skanime. Skanime. All right. Mink. Um, okay, so that's it. All, all, from here on out, on, unless I've, I've made a mistake, these are going to be all new folks for you guys. And for the, you as well, Alan, with two ends. The chances you made a mistake are pretty good, though. <laughs> they, they are. Okay, so this is... Abraham underscore 11, 261 subscribers. Yes, I am one, obviously. This is the Life Zone, a parody home video. 
Did you think that Stallmaster was good at acting? Yes. Okay, good, because then you're going to love this guy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Abraham. There's something I have to ask you. It's very important. What is it? Him looking at the it's camera at the end of every clip. The camera that he's holding. You're going to get kicked out of my house. But why? I said, get out of my house. <laughs> Man, I'm so lonely. There's nothing to do. What should I do? Drink hmm. Mountain Dew. I got a great idea. How about I get in the house? <laughs> That's it. And find a life. You were just now to go to my room. Okay, find I'm a 47 my room. views, by the way. What is it going to be? This is primo. I have no clue what the heck I'm Five just Nights at doing. Freddy's and a jackass. <laughs> There's something I have to do. What's that middle one? I don't know. It's definitely not a diploma. He's right. It's probably like Aladdin or something. Now. He seems like a Disney kid. No, I can play my Nintendo Switch for 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, doesn't even do the voiceover. I was going to say, wait, <laughs> is it 24 hours later? Here. Hmm. Nothing to do on my switch instead of having His a real is job. So much louder. Hmm. Well, there's gonna be some big ending. This is it. This is the end. No. <laughs> I think he ropes himself right after that. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, moving on. We have we have an, we have more from Abraham okay, underscore great. eleven. Uh, why don't you say we do a little talk about internet trolls? Let's fucking go. Hey, guys. Hey, Abraham. It's Abraham underscore 11. Mm -hmm. So, today is June... Today is June 5th, 2023. So, I'm, I'm gonna talk about, about internet trolls. So, oh. internet trolls are the worst He might be talking about us. On the internet. I'm not a troll. And you might be talking about me. I don't troll. Internet trolls. Me. Oh, it's yes. because. Let's see if I get the checkpoints. Why they harass people on there? Like why though? Some internet trolls. Yep, but why? And the internet trolls. Mm -hmm. Never. I don't know. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Oh my God! Damn, I thought I thought he was talking about me. I didn't even get one of the one of the the key talking points, buddy. You don't have to upload that. All right. So now when I talk about mundane, <laughs> we we got mundane. So my new favorite thing recently has been finding people like this that just air out their drama on like YouTube Shorts, basically, Fuck. and then try and find all the YouTube channels that they have beef with. So this this just just gets complicated. I I didn't really find out much, but I I definitely got lost in Francine Larrabee, okay. um, sixteen subscribers, uh, four views in three weeks. Ooh, that's a good ratio. Good morning. Hey, NWO. Wow, I really cool. like that you're not making new videos and we're not communicating and going back and forth in the comments section. Oh, I can Canadian. wake up every morning and Lock I can and share forth. my thoughts and have a clear mind without you bothering me. And I can say this, Terry, <laughs> it might not be you. But the guy is still doing it for you. All right, so he's got NWO, the guy, Terry, Terry, and somebody else. And I'm just, like, lost in, in this drama. But let's see if we can recap and, and see what happens. I'm fascinated in the fact that it's going to be Christmas in two days, and this guy is dumping his drama out onto <laughs> the internet for yeah. three people to see. And then you. You know when you called Paul? Uh, this is, like, the third time I've watched it because I had to go over the playlist. So I think there was literally one or two views. Yeah, Francine Larrabee and you. And you said that you you said that you had a friend. So well, at the beginning, person. I thought it was you, but it wasn't. It was that friend. But it's not a friend. <laughs> oh, but it's not a friend. I will say, folks, folks watching at home, 
I this this is near and dear to my heart. This the, these types of YouTube videos. You know, I'm sorry if it's boring, but I don't oh, think this from. is. Yeah, this is not boring. So let's let's finish. Say this one more time. Okay. I'm not going to go up to you and ask for you to take them down. Instead, I could go up to you and I could tell you he's only doing it for you. He's only doing it for you. It's not you, but a guy is doing it for you. And you've Admitted it. You admitted it, eh? You admitted it, eh? Admitted it. it? <laughs> admitted it, eh? Admitted it, oh eh? Oh my god! So that's that's Francine. His his drama is a little a little too much for me to get into. Okay, so before in the pre-show, you were asking me what was the weather like today, and I, you know, I had, you know, I didn't know. I didn't go outside, so I decided to have James uh, Wash uh, tell us. <laughs> okay, cool. Good morning. It is January 14th, 2024, a Sunday. I am James Wash. It is. This is my daily weather report. Do you think when it rains, he goes, we're having a washout? Oh, my God. He needs to. Here in Auburn, beautiful blue skies and golden sunshine. A lovely day. Current temperature of 46 degrees. Mild wind. As we move into the afternoon and evening, we can expect a high of 55 degrees. Honestly, some of my favorite types of people are amateur weathermen. They're great. Oh, oh the hilarious, especially when you get them in front of the green screen for the ter- first time. Amateur people that don't understand cameras being in front of cameras are my favorite. Honestly, one of the number one rules is don't put the camera directly in front of a window. If you're not outside, <laughs> inside or outside, make it one of the two. And look, exhibit A. Yeah, but he can't afford a green screen, so how else is he going to show the weather? Well, guess what? what fucking move outside. Move one more foot outside and do it from the ledge. Do it from... Oh, that, that would rule. Okay, I'm kidding. James but, Walsh, I love you. <laughs> not Walsh. And slight partial cloudy skies in the late <laughs> afternoon and evening. This is the most the mangiest day. content. Go back five day. seconds. I swear the same car just drove by three times. In the late afternoon and evening. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> this like this is not real. This is not real. Day. This is all glitches. <laughs> day song. Oh, shit. Always wow. on my mind by Willie Nelson. It's a good one. Have a good day. We Thanks. will, James Wash. We, Thanks. Maybe, maybe we could check in every week with James Wash for a weather report. Maybe we can get him a part of it. All right, so moving on yes. to a to a new channel. We have Alex the Fire. This Promising. is my, my birthday party will be on the 30th or so. Would be Saturday. Thank you. And I wish Happy New Year. Okay. 22 subscribers, 159 views. Wow. Okay, so this is Alex the Fire. Hi, everybody. This is a post for the YouTube stream. I know I haven't been active. Oh my god, this is great. The 30th, I is will that be a pillow or a dog? My birthday. <laughs> Both. So, what you on this Friday, the 30th? I want to get him a I'm neck for his birthday. Saturday, the 30th. <laughs> so, Lucy. We'll be there. Oh, Lucy. And you might have the last chance to see Santa Claus. I haven't got a hold of him, but I will. Got a hold of him. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that. But thank you for the support. No problem. I wish you all a happy New Year's. You too. You too. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Do you know that's. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> like, Thanks. Thank you for being there. So, like I said, Saturday. I don't think I've ever been thanked more for watching someone's video. <laughs> well, you know I feel what? genuinely amazing. I would personally like to say to you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, okay, so we have another one from Alex the Fire. This is titled June 16th, 2023. 36 views. 
Fidget spinner, fidget spinner, spinning around. <laughs> fidget spinner, fidget spinner, please don't slow down. Fidget spinner, fidget spinner, my favorite trend. It helps me to forget that I don't have any. I like that song. I've that never heard song. that. That was amazing. All right. So moving on, we'll see what we uh, what we have going on. Whew. Alex Philbrook, huh? Okay. So this, we have Big Bad Brad Network. We're going to watch a couple <laughs> from him. He has easily become one of my uh, my favorite YouTubers. 148 views. See, these weird, like, under one minute because this is i don't think this is a short because it's not in the short format yeah but no. videos under a minute ten, obviously because of the attention span of everybody nowadays with tiktok and all that but they tend to get a lot more views so that may look like a lot of views but believe me folks his channel he does not have a lot of views but this is i will upload once a month starting january <laughs> what's up guys this is gonna be a once a month channel because i gotta save some money Get some Pokemon cards. I might do some NFL cards on here too, if you guys like that. And uh, I I like collecting cards. It's been a hobby cards. since I was a kid, teenager, now an adult. So yeah, see you guys once a month. There might be one starting in January. I look for Pokemon cards. Peace. I'm out. What's up? Guys? <laughs> okay, so at least he wiped his nose from between the last video and this one. Yeah, he needs to stop doing cocaine before he shoots these videos. That's it. All right, so this is, do you guys want a Christmas channel? So basically, his, his channel more or less consists of asking the public what the channel should be, which is fucking meta as shit, yeah, if I you like think it. about it. There is no content. The, the, content. the content of the channel is asking people what the content should be. Incredibly and like what meta. other channels they should be. Yes, this is, it's, he's amazing. And he's got the classic glasses. It's fucking, it's so sick. Okay, so this is, do you guys want a Christmas channel? Yes. What's up, guys? Do you guys want a Christmas channel where I talk nothing but Christmas also on here? I talk Christmas, review movies, review uh, music, Christmas music, what I like about Christmas. What do you guys think? Get the thumbs up. Yes, all of that, please. Oh, absolutely. Okay, and so for the next little uh, mini dive, this will be the end of my first segment, but there's three or four videos, maybe even five, of this next channel. This guy rules. This is Joshy the Movie Guy 3, and I don't know why he sent this to us. A hundred episodes, it was, like, it was so long ago. I don't, maybe he didn't send it to us. I, I have no idea. But, um, yeah, so this is, this is Joshy the Movie Guy. Three. Is he congratulating Hi, himself on 100 subscribers? <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember. I really hope so. Hi, I'm Josh with Spears. And I'd just like to say congratulations on 100 subscribers on my new YouTube channel. Yeah. Keep doing a great work. This is Josh with Spears signing out. I mean, in case you forget, it's Josh with Spears. Mm -hmm. so. Talking to himself. So we're going to move on. This is tomorrow is my 21st birthday, and I'm a senior. Yes, in high school. Hey, guys, I'm Josh with Spears, and I have some great news to tell you. Tomorrow is my 21st birthday, and I'm a senior this year. So stay tuned, folks. This is Josh with Spears signing out. Good for you. Sticking to it, Josh. I'm proud of you. All right, so for another in the 21st birthday saga, this is today is my 21st birthday and I'm a senior. Oh my God, wait. Hi guys, I'm Joshua Spears and I have some great news to tell you. Today, I officially turned 21 today and I'm a senior year. Oh boy, I'm getting so excited because it's my birthday today. So stay tuned folks. This is Joshua Spears signing out. I swear to God, if his next video is that is twenty one and he's a senior, no, it's not. He okay. he he breaks the mold. Uh, this is happy twenty twenty four, everybody. Let's go. Cool. And this is going to be the last video well, of everyone, my segment. It's that time of year again. We're going to say goodbye to twenty twenty three and hello to twenty twenty four because I'm graduating and I'm going to be a senior at VBS High School. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> Okay. 
Do you think he can sing or no? I definitely think he cannot. Okay. Absolutely not. We're going to stay up late and party. We're going to make a lot of noise. Got He's full of surprises. His channel has a lot of videos about the Animaniacs on it. So. Oh. <laughs> if they... Great banging stuff. To be loud girls and boys. We're going <laughs> to rattle kids. Take pots and pants. So everyone can hear. We're going to stay up late and party. And shout. Happy New Year. Well, that's uh. <laughs> That's Joshy the Movie Guy 3 for you there, Alan. Wow, Joshy. What, what'd you think of my first segment? Some new, some old faces and a bunch of new faces. Big fan, big fan, and I'm going to kick things off with an old face. Yes. Our buddy Jack Plum is back. Love him. We're going to play a little guess the name that tune. Oh, God, I'm so bad at this. Well, I think I'm good at it. I think he's bad at it. Okay. Well, here's an easy one. Five, four, three, two, one. Fuck, I don't know the name of it. Any guesses? It's, like how, yeah, how... It, it's the uh it's like the classic fucking riff. It it's an I don't know. I I honestly don't know the name of the song. Batman Batman It's the Batman theme. <laughs> Batman That is not what I was thinking. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he also like sometimes he'll strum the chord four times sometimes he'll strum it seven times uh, he's so good he's uh, amazing honestly i have never been able to guess one of his songs and when i think i know what it is it is not what i thought it was so would you feel happy if you were to able able to guess what song it was before he started singing I don't know. I think I don't think he'd be doing his job good enough if I can guess him. That's the whole thing. He's like the Shyamalan of uh, of covers. Uh, so this next one didn't have any visuals, so I just found the creepiest picture of him I could. <laughs> oh, I know this one. <laughs> oh my oh. god, dude! Yes. Wait, he's got me second guessing if I know the song. What song is it? Eye of the Tiger? Yeah, okay. Rising up, back <laughs> on the streets. Yes. Did my time, took my chances. <laughs> chances. Did you hear that last note? Time, took my chances. <laughs> oh, shit. He needs to replace his batteries. He sure does. That <laughs> explains a lot. But... Oh, one one more clip. Yeah, let's let's hear. He he brings us home. He's the best. Don't lose your grip of the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. Well, it's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill <laughs> of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of a rival. Oh, Jack. So you good. Are special. So. Uh. I, I, you know, episode 300, I tried to do something different. I also tried to look for some special things that happened that I figured we could cover. And I found this video from the 80s. Oh, it's nice. a McDonald's instructional video to teach all of their employees about chicken McNuggets. Oh, okay. Let's go. It's McDonald's. It's 80s. Let's and go! it's all uh, like puppet food. Okay. Did you see this box here? Look! Hiya. So good. Hiya. 
It's so, so good. I wish commercials were, were like this nowadays. Commercials, everything. Like, this is something that a company put together to teach their employees about a product to, like, get them excited about it. <laughs> um, so. So as lost most- at the times, dude. You, you'd never do that. any Like. And nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, there would just be YouTube tutorials or something. You you can't have someone come and sit them down and play them a video. I mean, maybe they do. I don't know. Yeah, but if you do, you don't do this in it. And we've got the sauces that'll take you on a trip from the Wild West to the Far East. Mercado? Thank you, McNuggets, and sweet and sour sauce. Now here to please McDonald's friend. There's that ham again. It's called Godzilla. Hey, fantastic. Sweet and sour sauce. Oh, why? <laughs> Barbecue sauce? Sweet and sour sauce? What else you got, McNugget? Well, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> like, that was wonderfully racist. But <laughs> how are they going to make hot mustard racist? They've oh, already God. done Asian. Okay. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> wow. Oh, hot mustard sauce. <laughs> Gross. <Yes. laughs> okay. Hot so, mustard. Yes. Disgusting. I like those old packets. Man, remember those fucking packets? I don't remember those packets. No? No. Oh, I do. Do you really? Um, no. Oh. I was going to say, how but old are you, dude? It, I'm, I'm saying yes and. Oh, wait. Well, no, you <laughs> said you don't. So I should have said I don't either. Okay. <laughs> so we've already been racially insensitive. Yes. Let's... Um. Let's reach out to the broads and see what those dames got in store for them. I was just a plain Jane. <laughs> Until I took my first step in a souffle cup filled with honey. Goodbye! My gripe with this is she goes from clearly a child... <laughs> To a sexy chicken nugget. <laughs> yes. It's a little odd there. Yeah. Not a big fan of that. But okay. I bet your so wrestling we, otaku would love this commercial or this he training would, video. At least like the first two seconds of it. But then she gets a little too old for him. You know, that chicken <laughs> McNugget. So obviously there's all the sauces. But just in case you forgot everything we learned, there's the fun little wrap up in like sing songy, rhythmy, poemy form for us all to. Soak in all the knowledge. Mm. So here we go. After this, I'm going to want you to repeat it to me just exactly as it is in this video. Okay. Load the basket with the proper amount of chicken McNuggets. Lower the basket into the fryer and activate the cooking computer. When the duty timer sounds, shake the basket to separate the pieces. When the computer sounds, <laughs> turn it off, lift the basket, and hang it on the rack. Let the basket drain for five to ten seconds. Then empty I'm not going to remember the McNugget all transfer basket. Put the McNugget oh in the God. holding cabinet and activate the holding timer. Package the order <laughs> Dude, as they are called for. Six pieces per order. I did not edit this. That was completely <laughs> unedited. They put that at the end to be like, all right, everybody now, what did we learn? I don't think I remember. I remember lower the f- the basket into the fryer. That's and then, it. Uh, yes, but, but what about when the computer starts to beep and how many seconds do you let them drain? <laughs> Five to ten. Yeah, you think they could have condensed that down Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> After that, we definitely need a little so bit good. of a palate cleanser. <laughs> yes. So, how is. about um, Mangy's Funniest Tone Videos? Yes. Love it. <laughs> yes. I love this show. Yeah, that's. I love the ska, dude. Oh man, Mangy's funniest home videos is a great show. It is quickly becoming my favorite show on this show. <laughs> All right, but what would a show be without 
music. So I'm thinking, you know how when we go to commercial break, pause, pretend the audience isn't here. When we go to commercial break, um, we've been playing like that stock music, the royalty free stuff. Yeah. What do you think about this? (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) Where's the hit? Come on. What? <laughs> Where's the fucking drum hits? A smell of wine and cheap perfume. These poor oh. kids. For a smile, they can share the night. It she sounds like she's crying. Oh, yes. Oh, this is amazing. Yes, this is so good. Look at that stash. That this is so good. I honestly love vocals like that when someone's trying, actually trying, regardless of what it comes out like. The if the energy is there, I'm all about it. Well, you said energy. I feel like everything <laughs> but energy was there. <laughs> it's a, it's a uh, certain kind of energy. And here's the thing, I love music, you know that, I'm going to force my kid to play music, and I love when kids play music, but the best part about kids playing music is before they get good, they get this. So at least you get some amusement oh, out of it. One more clip, dude, yes. prepare auto. Hell yeah. Oh, the note he ends the solo on. <laughs> yes. Oh fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, see that's what I'm saying dude like that seeing that they're trying. They're at playing to the top of their uh, skill level, and that's amazing. That's they so really great. They are. It's, it's so, so great. Fucking good. It's that's why so I genuinely, I genuinely would rather hear music that is unpleasant if it's at a lower skill level, because I know that person is trying their hardest than to have some overproduced, you know, auto tune triggered album. Uh, get out of here with that trash. Give me this. Fuck you, you some dickhead with a prs who's been studying music theory phoning it in nope i want these kids you know who else i want was who's that i want someone who just learned how to be sarcastic brian allen fortune oh thank yes you. this bit he's saying thank you and it's kind of like a sarcastic thank you you'll 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 get you'll catch it thank you mardi gras for the free admission but sticking me a three dollar bottle of water. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sassy. For the awful overcharge of the water. Thank you. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. So you're getting <laughs> what he's doing right here. He keeps going and he keeps the uh for those who of you um Mardi Gras is a local dance club that Brian used to frequent. So that was about his $3 water from Mardi Gras. <laughs> One more complaint, or should I say thank you, about Mardi Gras. Thank you, bitches at Mardi Gras, for not dancing with me. Oh, man. He's he's kind of the worst. You know, you, you can tell he's the worst because of where his uh, priorities are set. He probably just walked up to someone line dancing and grabbed her tit. <laughs> and then she was like, fuck you. And he was like, whoa. You dumb bitch. Guaranteed. Well, he's pretty dumb if he thinks the first part of this next clip is true. Thank you, bus drivers. Thank you for having a fat guy sit next to me on the bus. <laughs> the bus driver did not have a fat guy sit next to you. 
And if there was a fat guy sitting next to you, that fat guy was also sitting next to a fat guy. <laughs> and also speaking of fat guys. He tried to get fat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pringles for having some okay chips. Thank you, Pringles, for having some okay chips. He talks about Pringles a lot in his videos. He fucking loves Pringles. I mean, he loves Pringles. Pringles. Pringle cans, I think, are more he, um, better than Pringles. You know, you know what he does can. with an empty Pringles can? Oh, piss, shit, shit, he, piss. He puts fuck two it. sponges inside the inside. With My a, next clip. With a rubber glove in the middle and an elastic around the top. Okay. So he has a new show. I went crazy. We, there's a lot of uh, Brian shows. And he's been doing like almost daily. And it's he's called got a, a flashlight. Yes. It's called a sp- sponge light. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Um, he has a new bit in, his, in the Brian show. Even though his show is daily now, there's a something of the month. Okay. On today's show, we have the baby of the month. We have photos of her. I was Creepy. talking about this hitchhiker that almost killed us. You know how it is. A lot of things can happen. Like yesterday, for instance. A lot of things can happen. Like he's, yesterday. Yesterday quite often happens. He's frightening. Yeah. He has uh, the same nose as as Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> it's the very wide the nostril exact nose. exact nose. Oh my god, he really does. Um, do you want to see the babe of the month? Oh, please, I would love to. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is just a Facebook friend of his that he downloaded two pictures of, and remember, he said babe of the month. Yeah, so here's the babe of the month. Her name's Jessica Marie. Doc's here's there. the photo. Enjoy, folks. But he typed baby <laughs> of the month. That is disgusting. Also, he shouldn't be doxing people. Nope. Jessica Marie. <laughs> this is so creepy. And Maybe then he only should... has these two photos, and he just goes back and forth between the two photos. It'd be a shame if somebody informed her that, that she was the babe of the month. Probably non-consensual. Oh, who knows? But uh, I bet you if you go out there and you look at Brian Allen Fortune's friends list for a Jessica Marie. <laughs> you could easily find it. I'm not saying you should, though. <laughs> Just saying he probably did. All right. A little couple more Brian Allen Fortunes. Here he is in his car. And you know, not his car. It's probably uh, his mom's car. P-Fort. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lauren, Brian here. Welcome to the Brian. I didn't edit that. I love how it goes from his theme song into halfway through a sentence. His theme song rolls, too. Brian's show, Brian's show, and then it's like, Brian something, Brian dumb, eating pizza, drinking rum. Brian yeah. sucks as Brian dumb. <laughs> it's amazing. Hey, Lauren, Brian here. Welcome to the Brian show. We're in a parking lot. Cool. It's a <laughs> great show. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, I fucking love realistic butthead. Yep, we are in a parking lot. <laughs> Dude, look at that nose. That is exactly like Butthead's nose. <laughs> but what parking lot are we in, you may be asking? I was. Last week we talked about stuff. Cool. We did a shout out. I'm going to go to McDonald's today. I didn't edit that. <laughs> so I want some chicken tenders and fries. Hell yeah. That's what I'm Thanks talking Thanks for correcting yourself. I want some freaking chicken tenders and fries. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like a Dick Tracy character. Damn traffic today. That His hair looks oddly perfect for the gross human that he is. Dude, that nose. I cannot get over that. Zoom in on that. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Dude, that is butthead, dude. <laughs> that was a good butthead, right? Don't you think? It's pretty good, dude. Okay, so he said he was. A, he said he wanted McDonald's. He wants his selects. I got yeah. good news for you. And dude, I did not edit this. Watch his camera move in this. Okay, you're not going to expect to come in. This is the first thing Brian did that I went. Eh. Hello, folks. We're here that? at McDonald's. Nope. I'm Wait going to it. get some food, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. 
think McDonald's. I freaking messed up. The spin? Well, like, it's he was outside of his car. He showed you the McDonald's sign, and then the camera spins back around, and he's in his car. Yeah, that's wild. I'm going to get some I know food, it's just like so a trickery, a but bit. I was impressed. Look, it's still spinning. And, Think McDonald's. and then back to the left. I freaking wow. messed up. I got... Yeah, I don't think you did that on purpose, but I was really, really <laughs> high the other night, and I was like, no shit. <laughs> You're all falling in love with his editing style. <laughs> yeah, okay. His direction. Listen, dude, I clipped a lot of this dude, but I'm just going to play you this one. <laughs> nice. I love that guy. There's a German sausage called Suckcock. <laughs> Suck <-cock. laughs> oh, that is a gem of a fucking video. Yep. Holy shit. Um, and then he also uh, makes a bag out of a shirt. Who produced a shirt from a bag? He is a shirt. Here is a shirt, a shirt. Oh, I love them. But um, all right, I'm gonna plow through a couple of clips because I found this. I found this music channel where I'm not sure if they're a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a brother and a sister, but they do covers. Okay. He plays the guitar and she sings. She tries Great. to harmonize with oh my god that 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 second to last note. I feel you. Oh, <laughs> so good, so good. But, as as someone who is tone deaf, I can appreciate her effort. Okay, but don't worry, it's it's the both of them make this. But across the distance and spaces between. That last <laughs> note again. Love it. Those are semitones. So Wait, it, it's it's a manging, a manging. Is that? Oof. I'm gonna try try a new try and mash amazing and mangy together. A manging. That is a manging. But now off to some guitar. He's gonna show us his skills. Oh hell yeah! Because we shred. all remember the guitar solo in "My Heart Will Go On." <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the guitar solo, but we're starting to pick it up. Yeah. Here we go. And right here, this is my last clip before I kick it back to you. Wait, because in the beginning of this clip, you're like, oh, fuck, this guy's got the goods. And then he proves to you at the end how wrong you are. Oh. It's not that bad yet, right? It sounds like he's hitting the notes in the correct spot, but just in the wrong spot on the fret. Yes. Like the execution is there, but the notes are wrong. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Those sounds are like, <laughs> That's not right Sounds like King Cobra doing a solo <laughs> Oh my god dude, dude. <laughs> No that's not how guitaring is Amazing Oh my god all right, dude, uh, that's my first segment tonight. I would like to throw it back to you. I feel like that's what Ingve Malmsteen sounds like to people who don't play guitar. Yes, absolutely. All right, um, let's, kick it, uh, let's kick it back to me here. Okay, so we're going to plow through the rest of my videos. This uh, okay. next I up make... is James Gaming. I have to have a very serious discussion about people I know. So I'm trying to get into more drama. TV shows just aren't cutting it, and I'm, I don't like scripts. You know what I mean? 
I'm all about things that occurred naturally and just the chaos of it all. So I have to have a very serious discussion about people I know. James Gaming. This video, which is very important. So, yeah. FLM Exotic has threatened to boot me offline and he has said something very serious to me. Oh, no. Now, I'm not going to say it in this video because it could get taken down, but... I, I tried to find what he said, but it must have gotten taken down. So. Oh, even if you could find what he said, you wouldn't be able to understand it. ...of what 3 2 one call boy am because it's even though I've been... People have threatened to boot me offline. As you can tell, for the past week, I've been losing my mind trying to dive deep into all these small channels drama, and I've come up with nothing. I've literally understood none of it. Wasted. Wasted time. I, I don't speak this, whatever this... Yep. I don't even, James Gaming, everyone. All right, moving on. This guy has become uh, probably a top 10 YouTuber for me. This is Roland Jokers, and it, it takes him a long time to get to what he's trying to say, but, you know, you can put it aside. My mind is so thin, I don't make sense. I love it. Six, 16 subscribers, I'm one of them. This is 12 views. Half the time, I have no idea what I'm talking about, <laughs> and I I post a lot of videos <laughs> just, saying, uh, just saying stuff that I forget the exact now topic. if you remember when i said in my intro speaking to the empty empty void this is this is pretty much that that i'm actually saying it's uh it makes me look really thin like really uh like i don't think so buddy <laughs> like nothing's going on mentally upstairs <laughs> okay in, in that way so i, I uh <sighs> i seem very <laughs> you just uh, ate his mucus you can see him swallow it. Like I'm saying nothing, basically. <laughs> uh, I wish I wish I could in depth explain my thoughts with less hesitation. I think I should go for less hesitation. All right, so this just just keeps going on. That sounds like a drug ramble. It it like, sounds exactly like a drug ramble. So let's let's do another one from Roland Jokers. This is at Riley dot two six nine six. What would you do? Rabbit or two coyotes? Uh, curly curly enclosed grapefruit. Curly outclosed. Uh, four <laughs> views in one year. This is oh Mangy. Oh God. So I propose this question to you. Okay. I, he'll be able to explain it a little bit better than I am. But if you can give me an answer at the end of these 19 seconds, I'd appreciate that. Oh, I could give you an answer Actually, now. Riley, <clears throat> what would you do if you ran up, if you came across at a four-way stop, two coyotes and a hare or a rabbit? What would you do, man? Just out of the blue, what would you do? What would you do? Uh, oh... Do you want me to tell you the answer that I was going to give before I heard what he said? Sure. <laughs> the rabbit. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna go back and I'm going to take that answer back. Yeah. I'd probably keep driving. <laughs> just keep driving, just not even yeah. give him any recollection? Nope. All right. Well, let's, let's check back in with him for another video. This is a uh, reply to a comment on YouTube from MK. The Rolling Jokers. 24 views in two years. I'm here. I'm here all day. What? What? How do I? Uh, how do I misspeak? How do I not spell properly? Yeah. So there you go. Oh my God, he's making videos to reply to comments. Yeah, it, which is incredibly old school YouTube because that's how yeah. it used to be done. There used to be the, the reply video section, which maybe we should dive into that one day. That seems like it would be pretty mangy. There are lots of re's on YouTube. Because, like, mm. those videos, each one starts with, like, the R-E. So, I mean, like, we could totally do, like, a whole re episode. Yeah, like a, like a re episode or something. Yeah. yeah. Hard re. Okay, so moving on to the next channel. Mon uh, this is Monster Energy Orange Dreamsicle 2022. <laughs> and the name of this video is Monster Energy Orange Dreamsicle Sub 1000M. And this is 37 views. 
Mr. James Sickle. It's the best. So, yeah. Yep. Let's drink it. So, so that's Monster Energy Orange Dream Sickle 2022. And sub 1000M. <clears throat> he has 3.45K subs. Um, okay, moving on. This is a little <sighs> bit of music. Um, this is... <laughs> but this is this is a net fox fed lock time experiment with appetite for destruction. Beep, bap, bap, bap. Here's another drug video. <laughs> Ooh. The Prince of Darkness, with his wand, pointing at the square. Oh, he tried to warn you, but nope, nobody care. Very nope. Poetic. Nobody right, let's, care. Let's get into the song. Uh, that's not Fex Fedlock time experiment. Dude, that Fox Fedlock time experiment slaps. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll give him a sub. Um, okay, so moving on, this guy. We're going to watch a couple from him. This is Chris, the Super Mario fanboy, UTTP. He has 12 subscribers. Of course, I'm one of them. This is, video has 27 views. Three opinion change. I now hate Corey, Ali, Matthew, and Chloe. Okay, so I have dug into... The people he's talking about. Well, at least half of them. Allie is uh, Allie the Blues Clues girl or something like that. But let's just see if we can get into some of this drama because this is good stuff. Also, check out his beard. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'm making this video. It makes me want to reach out my voice. I have three opinion changes. I now hate Allie Wilson. Me too. Corey Johnson Edwards. Me too. Chloe Richardson. Me too. And Maggie Dolman. Me too. That was four. You guys want to know was four, why but... I hate those users? It's because they're trying to expose me on YouTube. All right. What? So as soon as I, as soon as I heard that, I tried to do some digging. I cannot find what he's being exposed for, but I'm sure it it, it garner it garners how he's acting now. And, and Corey thinks I'm assault Ali Wilson, which I didn't even do so. He didn't. I tried to find a video. So Good. Corey tried to add her, Ali Wilson, Chloe Richardson, and Matthew Dolman in watching this. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> All right, we're going to watch another one from him. This is, you know, he mentioned Ali. Well, this is a message to Allie Loves Blues Clues, A-U-T-T-P-E-D-G-P. -T -T -E this is nine <laughs> views. This is nine views. So let's see what his message is. Okay. Allie, how could you do this to me? And also dare you make it commentary videos out of my rant on Tremaine Keys. You know that Tremaine Keys is the worst bad person. And also dare you not I for not be friends being friends with Ben Matia. <laughs> See he loses me right about here. Yeah, he loses <laughs> his train of thought, he loses everything right, right about maybe, there. Maybe we'll be able to figure this one out. This is a message for Allie the Blues Clues girl. Different oh, no. different handle. This is angry message to Allie Wilson, aka Allie the Blues Clues girl. So here we go. So, Ali Wilson, how could you make the bad videos on my friends? What? Don't you realize it's a pointless? Keep stretching that shirt. <laughs> and you need to stop defending Corey Johnson Edwards. That's what I was trying to say. 
But yeah, this drama goes deep. All right, let's um, let's let's, let's keep going. This is shall I like Corey Johnson Atard? Jonathan Atard. Uh, this is twelve views. So we'll see. Shall I like Corey Jonathan Atard? No. Shall I? Oh, he. <laughs> okay, I like him again. I like this guy. Would you say they're uh, Chris, the Super Mario fanboy? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. So now we're gonna. This oh, is Jesus. rant on Allie Wilson. He really doesn't like this Allie girl. <laughs> Hello, yeah, get into guys. it. It's me, Christopher Ashley on. Here and today. I literally don't even have the patience to hear his rant on Allie Wilson. <laughs> okay, cool. We're going to keep going. Um, shall I like Brandon Horninger? Uh, I think I know the answer to this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> These videos rule. All right. Um, so next up, we have uh, Brandon Rice fishing at the lake, the sheriff. <laughs> Uh, this is don't eat Dana's squirrel backs. There are Dana's squirrel backs, not yours, Brandon Rice. How about that? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, do not eat Dana's squirrel backs. They're Dana's, not yours. <laughs> okay. So, this... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't ever eat Dana's squirrel backs, please. Wow, you were not kidding. We are going old school tonight. Oh, we're going deep into the void. That's what I'm telling you. This is a mundane episode. Do not eat the squirrel bites. <laughs> um, okay, so I have about six videos left. So we're going to get into another channel that I found. This is My Insane Face Reveal. This is by <gasps> Dead Rose Studios Movie Production. Eight subscribers. Of course, I'm one of them. 19 views. Comments are turned off, so I couldn't leave a comment, but... Let's get into his insane face reveal. This person is wearing all bandana. Which is drippy. That, that is a drip right there. Holy shit. The suspense is killing me. Ah. Oh my god! That was insane! Oh man. Alright, well here's his face. Oh. I'm on my biggest news ever. His <laughs> biggest news ever. I am no longer making music. Dude. I'm going to be making films. I am changing my entire channel, everything, my entire career. I was actually getting paid a little bit for music. Career. But no. I'm making films now. Okay, so you wonder what his music might sound like, right? I do. Okay, so I'm. This is the only video I'm bringing where it's not a person in front of a camera, and it's only for context. This is Dead Rose Studios with Con Fuck. Conflict Two. This is what he's giving up. Yeah. Oh, there's a sequel. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this, Paisley. He's such an underrated song. I wasn't expecting this, Paisley. These are the average tracks. Oh! Everything is a conflict. Everything <laughs> I do, I get convicted for. All the girls are dumb whores. See yeah. that door and close it. You get no tokens because you don't work. It's that in this so city. Hard. You Let's work. fucking go. In the streets, I like to work. This song is on Earth at 40 seconds. I'm with a baseball bat. That is kinda crazy. You get no fucking lazy. Oh, I fucking I'm love it. These houses are watching your girl. This is insane. The house. You're so small like a mouse. I, I, I. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Oh, fucking dead rose. Let's fucking go. 
Yeah. That shit fucking slaps, dude. Oh my god. And he said uh he he's he was just starting to make money off of music too. Yeah. Well this is this is also a sequel. So um maybe uh next episode or whenever we get around to it, we'll we'll dig deeper into his music. There's not much, but this shit fucking slaps. Is this what happens when you wear head to toe bandana? Hell yeah, dude. I think I'm gonna start fucking wearing that if I can make music like this. All right. <laughs> So we're we're gonna move on from from this. That was just a little contextual um, little intermission there. Okay. So next up we have Tim Tim you know, Tim Jim Show. This is the most dumbest thing ever. Thirty eight subscribers, seventeen views. I'm subscribed. Y'all want to hear something crazy? Okay, I just found this out. I don't know how long it's been, but basically, a lady. Uh, this is crazy. She tries to uh, Hershey's uh, Reese's. Uh, Shoe Reese's, uh, Reese's candy, uh, um, you know, the I've candy of candy cup yep. things. Familiar. Uh, Reese's. Is. Well, she's trying yes. to sue Reese's because she bought a pumpkin Reese's. <laughs> and on the packaging, basically has like a pumpkin with carvings, like like an eye carving and a, the mouth and stuff. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, we've seen it. This is the craziest thing ever. All right, we're moving on from here. Wait, you're not even going to fucking let me know what happens? <laughs> But when she opened it, it didn't have no, none of the carvings and stuff. It was just just a pumpkin. That's she bullshit. thought she was getting the carvings, and now she's trying to sue Reese's because she didn't have no carving on it. Okay, you could skip this. That's crazy, though, right? That is insane. All right. So oh my we're gonna, god. We're we're gonna do. Uh, I don't even ha- do. I have that. Oh my god, that was insane. All right, so we're gonna do another Tim Jim show. This is a sketch. Uh, Papa didn't take his meds. Oh, shit. Ten views. I'm hungry. <laughs> the audio's all fucked up Pops, on his end. what are you doing? Are you okay, Papa? Papa, you good? Do you take a meds? Oh my god. <laughs> it is so chaotic when Fucking the audio thing sucks. <laughs> when the audio's not synced. It's right. so brutal. My um um wait a minute. That's that's not supposed to be in there. I think that yep, that oh one unavailable video. This is this happened oh, again. Shit. Damn. Another video got taken down in the middle of my playlist about to show it. Well, that's but, it. I guess, you know, that's the end of my uh, second segment there. Well, you got to love how that happens. All right. Would you be excited if I s- said the words raping, gra- rapping grannies? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe I should share the screen, yeah, too. Yeah, I was going to say, you should probably put it up. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rape and Grannies. <laughs> My name is Lynn, and I am Ann. We are a couple of Midwest grands. We like to talk, and we love our coffee. Sometimes our minds get a little <laughs> bit foggy. Together we are the Ann Lynn Show. When things get you down, oh, man. or if you're feeling low, hop on over to the Ann Lynn Show. We only want to put a smile upon your face. Oh, dude. Is that a real show? Their their channel is a real show. Oh, my God. Yeah. The Ann um, and Lynn Show? And did that, that rhyme? They rhymed show with face? That's so good. Yeah, I got one more clip from these uh, old... Oh, man, I'm going to look them up right now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. If you hit the bell, you won't miss any content. There's one more <laughs> thing we'd ask you to do. Share if you dare, and a big fuck you. Hey. That's so good. Whoa, those grannies are edgy. That shit is so fucking funny. I Actually, to be honest, rhyming comment and content, that was pretty good. Yeah, you just had to shoehorn the other 58 syllables into the line. <laughs> um, all right, let me, speaking of shoehorning in, we're just going to shoehorn in the the best stuff that we got left. Um, so, 
a, a an old favorite of ours just turned 25 years old. Our buddy, TV Nicholas Krause. Oh, yes. Let's go. So on the day of his birthday, he filmed Wait, a vlog. How old did you say? 25. He's 25? Five. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> no, I am not. Hey, guys. Yes. It's, uh, it's Nicholas Krause. Um, uh, I looks better than ever. Because uh, uh, my family's sleeping. But um, today is... Uh, Today's my birthday. Hey. So he just wanted to, uh, everybody else is asleep, but it's three in the morning on his birthday and he's very excited. I love Nicholas Krause. Wants to just share it with everybody. Um, we got to So let's see. He, let's see what his plans for his birthday are. Oh, I would love to know. This year I'm turning 25, which. Damn. Whew, that's crazy. It is. Um, Four more to a um, hundred. Three more. That's like a quarter of a century. Um, Math. Um, um, so, <laughs> basic rundown of yes. uh, the plans for today. Um, uh, we're going to go to <laughs> Cece's Pizza. Um, yes. Fuck yeah. Um, I, I, I kind of... <laughs> lost my train of thought for a bit. It's okay, um, Nick. Yeah. Um, I forgot <laughs> to mention this earlier. Check it out. This is an audio interface. Oh, uh, nice. More vocal covers? The thing is, uh, we got the wrong cable. Oh, so. my God. I'll send him one. He got the audio interface for his birthday and the wrong cable. Oh, that's so sad. That God sucks. damn it. God I, damn. His we're, we're gonna have to revisit some of his covers. Maybe maybe next week's episode I'll do all covers. Episode three hundred and one. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna. You know what? We're gonna close things out with a couple of uh drunk assholes that I found. Oh hell yeah. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't give a shit about poor people. <laughs> And I don't give a flying fuck about people that need fucking help. Drugs <laughs> or whatever. But you know why? Because I'm an asshole. I'm the world's biggest asshole. Fucking yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm going to vote Trump. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to vote fucking Trump. And you know what we're going to do? <laughs> he we're like going to kick the fucking Mexicans out of this fucking goddamn place. <laughs> and you know what we're going to do? Well, I don't know what we're going to do, but evidently somebody's going to fucking do something. Of course he has one airing. Let's go! It's like the weirdest shape, too. I wish I could get like a close-up. He, he, he looks like a weird relative of Donald Trump. Oh, he totally does slash is. It's like fat... Larry. <laughs> All right. One more drunk asshole. Fat Larry Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, pretty sure this guy isn't drunk, though. This is um, pretty sure it might be crack. <laughs> when I went to go see, get a, Straight can drop. you light me up? This is my crack. Coffee and cigarettes. No, I'm pretty sure crack is your crack. <laughs> I'm pretty sure crack is your crack there, guy. Can, can you have a lighter? Dude, I love your ring. I'll buy it from you when I get Planet Cage money. Okay. What happened to Planet Cage? Okay. Dude, are you part of the crack coalition? No. Okay. Oh, my hang God. Hang on, let me... Hang on just a second. They have fucked with the wrong person. Seems more like meth. Okay, so it's... Yeah. You'll get a better look at that in this next clip. The last clip of him. Maybe a crackhead... When a meth head is talking about a crackhead, they, like, look down on him. Like, it's a dirty drug. Uh, yeah, because meth is much. He's like, yeah, I'm a crackhead, blah, 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 making fun of crackheads while he's just tweaked. Ah, uh, well, let's see. Let's hear his story. Let's okay. get, who is this man, and why is he the way he is? Can, can you have a lighter? Dude, I love your ring. I'll buy it from you when I get Planet K's money. I went to Planet K. I bought two cigarettes from this big old fat bull dyke with red hair. That colored crackhead and his wife with the cane are looking and this he pushed amazing. me say don't fuck with my wife i said she's a colored crackhead oh can i God. buy that ring when i sue planet k 
I and a victim. See this scar here? Back in wow. 2011, <laughs> 2012, there's these lesbians that cooked crack <laughs> above me. Joe Gonzalez assaulted me, and I had this scar to prove it. In the same these spot. fucking crackheads are ridiculous. They said, these are our friends. I said, with friends like that, who needs enemies? Hell yeah. And I said, fuck these. Oh, my God. <laughs> so is that where the clip ends? Wow. I hope so. Yes, my friend it does. Okay, good. That guy, that was very surreal. I feel like it's like almost gummo-esque. Very high quality nut cases. I love that. That's a good juxtaposition. Yeah, this guy's pretty great. Um, so I lied. We have a, I have a very quick clips. I'm going to tease something that we're going to watch soon. I don't know if it's going to be next week, 301. Who knows? I could wait till like okay. episode 3000, but we're oh, going to wow. finish. Hopefully got, we get to 3000. That'd be crazy. You know, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be like, that's a milestone. That might be up there. I don't know what the longest running podcast is, but yeah, if we can make it that. that long, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. So our boy, Isaac Woolsey. Oh, yes. I have a little bit of a comedian. Uh, I found one of his stand-up bits the other day, and he said something that kind of caught me off guard. Okay. A fellow black comic. One more time, Isaac. A fellow black comic. Hmm. Fellow. What does that mean? Doesn't that mean, like, when you're something as well? <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, so that's kind of <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> But let's hear a little I didn't more. Even pick up on that, yeah. No, it means you're you're in a group. Yes. So let's hear a little more about this fellow black comic. <laughs> and this is just the tease for what we will be watching soon. Uh. A fellow black comic tried to give me the N-word pass. Yes. He's in Isaac, jet. you are here. Yes. No way. We love you, buddy. We love you. I wanted to show, you know what, now that you're here, is it weird watching your own bit with you? We're going to watch the fellow black comic talk about the uh, giving you the N-word pass. I've got yes. it clipped. Here we go, Isaac. It's nice to see you here. In fucking chat. There was chat. a sex worker strike. Like a porn actress strike. I'm like, how, what would they really be striking for? It's like, we won't fuck unless we get get dental insurance. And it's like, and, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, I'm thinking, you know, do you really, if you're sucking dick, do you really need dental insurance? Yeah. You, you might actually, you might actually do a better job of if you don't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, got a point um, that's fucking awesome he's got a point man i don't know is is my internet dropping out at all uh here and there yeah not, i'm, I'm getting the little low wi-fi thing in the corner i don't want to do any of this injustice you guys come back next week i have a a nice isaac will see uh presentation for an entire five minutes that he does and it is wall to wall bangers. He crushes. The audience fucking loves the whole thing. So everybody, come on back next Sunday. We're gonna watch a little more. Also, programming note. Since we go live on Sunday nights, we're gonna edit the show down and we're also gonna premiere that show Monday nights going forward. Mm, yes. So if you see something the next day, but you were here on Sunday, don't worry, you've already seen the show, but heck. We're going to try something new out, and we want to appreciate everybody for coming. Isaac, we want to appreciate you for stopping by, too. Yes, Isaac has quickly, quickly risen in the ranks as the favorite stand-up comedian over here at Mangy, the most worst show on the internet. Very, very quickly, may I add. And right now, he's standing up there with a heavy foot, and I don't think anyone can overthrow him. Nope, nope. Tom Myers doesn't have shit on you, buddy. <laughs> Do you have but, any uh, uh, and, and any recommendations, or is your is your um, segment still going? Sorry if I cut you off. No, it's all right. Um, I've got a lot more, and I'm going to save it for uh, for some soon. So that's the rest from of my segment tonight. I am just a little starstruck right now too. Yeah, this so, is amazing. Uh, we appreciate you, and uh, you keep doing what you do, buddy, and we'll keep telling everybody about it. Well, it's been 300 episodes, so. Thank you for sticking with us, everyone, all these mangiacs out there, and thus... 
concludes Mangy. Follow us on all the socials at Mangy, Mangy, Mangy. Follow my YouTube channel at Joey Herbs where you can see a restream of the show. And join us next week for the most worst show on the internet? Thank you for watching Mangy, the most worst show on the internet. Come back next week to see what crazy stuff Joey Abs and Alan with two ends can find. But on today, stay mangy!